Hi and welcome to this week's video with me Gail from Sober Bliss. I realise it's been a little while since I talked to you. I just watched the last video back and it was when we had that weird orange dust. Well after that um, it basically rained for the past three weeks, that's all we've had. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. We've had quite weird weather. We've had rain, as I said, lots and lots of rain. Then we had um, a weekend of glorious sunshine. And then we had snow and then more rain. So it's been a bit of a mix. And I think the weather, now I'm British, obviously I like to talk about the weather. And what's that got to do with stopping drinking? Well, life and the weather throws things at us all the time. You're never going to get um, everything perfect, everything aligned. Perfect weather, perfect day, perfect circumstances, perfect moment to stop drinking. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you about today. Um, so in a bit of a roundabout way, the weird weather that we've been having here lately has helped me to reflect on why we can never really allow outside circumstances to stop us from doing the thing that we want to do most in the world, which is to stop drinking. Now, if you're like me, you probably spent a lot of time thinking about stopping drinking. I recently celebrated four years of sobriety, and I have to say that before I quit, I thought about it and dreamt about it, read about it, planned for it, prepared for it a lot. Probably six months, a year, maybe it been on my mind this is what i want to do how am i going to do it all the things you know i read the blogs the quit lip books the podcasts i listened to went on the websites all of it and in my head it was all planned perfectly you know what i would do how i would do it what my life would look like and i think i spent so much time you know, as I said, thinking about it, worrying about it, planning for it, preparing for it, that it had to be perfect. I had to have everything, you know, lined up, all my ducks in a row, um, the stars had to be in perfect alignment, and the universe had to present with me the most perfect moment to do it. Obviously that didn't happen, and I don't think it happens for anybody. I've received a couple of emails from two of my sober friends. One just celebrated two years of sobriety, the other one last week three years of sobriety. And the thing that they both had in common, which most of us have in common actually, is that it just kind of happened. The moment arrived, uh, the moment arrived when they stopped. And it was nothing like they planned for or thought about or dreamt about. It just happened. So what I'm trying to say is that there is never a perfect time to quit drinking, but it's always the right time. It really is. And it depends on you. As I said in the beginning, you can't allow outside circumstances to get in the way of what it is that you want to do. The pandemic, for example, and there were so many people who started to drink more in the pandemic, but yet there were so many people who used the pandemic as a perfect opportunity to cut down or stop drinking. So it depends how you look at a situation. It depends how you look at, I don't know, summer, spring, winter, rainy days, sunny days, um, what's going on in the world right now. Obviously, you can go either way. You can say it's not the right time. It's too stressful. There's too much worry. There's too much uncertainty. Or you can look at it from a different perspective, which I encourage you to do. And you can say, okay, well, all of this is going on in the world. Maybe it's going to go on for even longer than anticipated. Yes, perhaps things are going to get worse. 
So this is a great opportunity to take um, control of my life, to do the thing that I want to do. Because when we are not drinking, we're obviously clear headed, we improve resilience and confidence, we feel better about ourselves. So we're in a much better position to cope with life's challenges. So when there's a challenge, it really is a perfect time to stop drinking because then you can tackle it head on, clear headed. And really with everything going on in the world, you know, do you really want to be worrying about your drinking on top of everything else? That's something that somebody said to me when they stopped drinking during lockdown. It was just so nice not to have to cope with it, with hangovers and, you know, not sleeping properly and feeling rubbish about themselves. So while things might be looking bleak right now, and they certainly are cause for worry and concern, they are also a good opportunity to look at you and to decide what you want, how you want to feel. And at the end of the day, that really is the most important question to ask yourself. How do I want to feel? And if you're going to feel better not drinking, taking a break from drinking, quitting altogether, then that has to be the only factor that determines where you go from here. So not the weather, not the fact that it's your birthday next week or there might be a wedding in June or it's your, I don't know, wedding anniversary or you're going on holiday or unfortunately what's going on in the world. You know, there will always be something Friday night, next Saturday. There will always be something that could potentially get in the way of you doing the thing that you really want to do. So you have to come back to yourself. If I hadn't have decided on the 28th of March 2018 that that was it, that I wasn't going to drink anymore. Never mind, it was a Tuesday and I think the weather was a bit rubbish, you know. Whatever else was going on, I decided that this was it. I was going to do it for me. And I was so not ready, I have to say. I just wasn't ready at all. I didn't have a good selection of alcohol-free um, beers in the house. I didn't have all the snacks. I didn't have... Um, you know, daily walks planned. I hadn't downloaded the meditation apps. I hadn't got a month's supply of Quitlet. I wasn't ready in that respect. And that's okay. Because I think when we feel that this is what I want to do now, I, when we feel that we're going to just be so much better off, it doesn't matter if we haven't got all our ducks in a row, as I said before, it doesn't matter what's going on in the world. It comes down to you and how you feel at the end of the day. And let's face it, if alcohol is making you feel miserable, it's getting in the way of you doing the things that you want to do, then it has to be a good thing to stop, to take a break, to take a step back. And only you can know what that feels like and it's up to you to to make a start so that's what I would say to you today forget what's going on around you in terms of your drinking and forget what's going on around you in terms of the reasons why it may or may not be a good time to do it and just think about yourself if you no, if you feel deep down that you're going to be better off not drinking, then that's all you need to go on. And I would just say take it from there. doesn't matter if you're not ready. doesn't matter if you're scared. Because you will figure things out along the way. You will find the support. You will find the people. You will find the thing that works for you um, at wine o'clock. 
you will find the thing that works for you when you're bored on a Sunday afternoon. But you have to explore and experiment and give it a go. So that's what I want you to do. Let me know in the comments how you found this little pep talk, I suppose. It didn't start out like that, but I just feel so grateful to be where I am now and be alcohol free that I want the same for you. And I don't want you to allow what's going on in the world to stop you from doing the thing that you most want to do. So to help you, if you go onto my website, soberbliss.com, there is a free guide that you can get to download, which is how to get through wine o'clock, because that's often the place we start and struggle with the most. And there is a guided visualization included to help you through that tricky time of day. So go ahead, pop on over to Sober Bliss, download the guide, and let me know what you think. And let me know why you want to stop drinking right now and if there's anything that I can do to help you. So thanks so much for watching this week's video and I will see you next time. Bye for now.